For how long? For the first time, a House Democrat today called for a criminal investigation into the debacle at our VA hospitals. That Democrat is Congressman Steve Israel from New York. Congressman Israel joins me now. Thanks so much for being here, Congressman. I, I want to say you're not calling for Shinseki's resignation at this time. Can you honestly tell me that if this exact same thing happened during the Bush administration, you wouldn't be calling for the resignation of the VA secretary? But Jake, if uh, Secretary Shinseki's resignation uh, is what it takes to turn over a new leaf, uh, to reform the VA, and to restore faith by our veterans and their ability to get health care, then he should resign. But it's not resignation alone. That's not going to solve the systemic problems that we have. I am fed up with these problems. I've been pushing the VA since 2008 to develop public-private partnerships because I told them then that they didn't have the capacity. And they said, don't worry, we have this. And that's why we need a criminal investigation. I want to know if anybody, anybody at the VA doctored papers, engaged in a cover-up, withheld health care for veterans, they need to be investigated, they need to be prosecuted, they need, need to be fired. The Justice, the, the Justice Department has not launched a criminal investigation, Congressman. Have you called yes. Attorney General Holder and said you need to launch an investigation? Have you called the FBI director? I spoke with, I uh, contacted the Attorney General today, uh, this morning, when I read uh, the IG's report. Uh, and learn that there are now 42 additional hospitals uh, on the list. Uh, the first thing I did is uh, contacted the Attorney General, sent him a, a letter hand-delivered, uh, hand demanding uh, that there be a criminal investigation, prosecution, and punishment. I am fed up with this. Are you at all concerned that because of the political fallout, the risks of what this might do to uh, President Obama's own personal standing with the American people, that they are not taking this seriously enough as evidenced by no criminal investigation having been launched despite ample evidence that criminal activities uh, likely took place. Jake, the only real fallout that I'm concerned with at this point is veterans who aren't getting health care. I secured $7.4 million in back pay for the veterans in my district. They're the ones that we need to be focused on right now. We need to make sure that they're getting taken care of. We need to have a systemic solution to this. Uh, and put the politics aside. We can blame each other all day. It's not going to help one single veteran get health care. I want solutions. I want this process solved. I want a criminal investigation, and that's why I called for that today. Congressman, obviously you're right. There are systemic problems with the VA that go beyond just the resignation of one man. But is General Shinseki the right man to change the system that is such a problem? Well, as I said uh, before, uh, I, look, I have tremendous respect for the general, for his service to his country, to his four stars. But uh, if it's going to take his resignation to turn over a new leaf at the VA, uh, to bring in badly needed reforms that I have advocated since 2008, uh, then yes, then he should resign. But that, but you're not calling for his resignation, just to be clear there. No, I, I would. If, uh, he should resign, uh, in my view. Uh, but there are too many of my colleagues are just saying that that resignation is going to solve the problem. It's not going to solve the problem. Uh, what's going to solve the problem is a criminal investigation, with or without his resignation, and getting to the roots of this to make sure that it's solved and it never happens again. Uh, you can do one, you can do the other, you can do both. But the absence of a criminal investigation and the absence of a process that gets to the root of this problem and holds people accountable for this problem is a disservice to our veterans. Congressman Steve Israel, thank you so much for your time. We thank appreciate you. it. Of the problems facing